Good evening once again. This is Dr. Mike and welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight, we will be discussing all about men. We'll discuss, we'll uh, start with male menopause or what we call andropause. Most doctors, uh, they usually refer to this uh, menopause. We, we term it as andropause. So it is associated with aging. That's one. It is associated with a decreasing uh, testosterone. So again, sa ating pong mga subscribers na nanonood, sa lahat ng ating mga friends na nanonood tonight, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat, uh, sa lahat po ng friends natin all over the world. So if you have questions, feel free because ang discussion natin ngayong gabi ay tungkol sa mga kalalakihan. We call it andropause or is there such thing as andropause or uh, male menopause. In the previous week, uh, we've discussed about female uh, problems, particularly, not a problem, it's a, it's a biologic process, physiologic process, normal bi bi biologic process, menopause. This time, ang mga kalalakihan ba, meron din ba sila? So is it a myth or is it a reality? So let's discuss and let's begin tonight. So if you have questions, feel free, sabihin lang po ninyo, and then I'll try to answer as much as I can. So we have some viewers currently. Marami pong salamat. And if you have husband, if you have partners, to understand them clearly kung ano mo pinagdadaanan nila, particularly dito sa age group na sasabihin ko, uh, at least mauunawaan nyo bakit minsan si Mr. mainitin ng ulo, bakit si Mr. minsan nagkakaroon ng mood changes, etc., etc. So we will discuss it tonight. Male menopause, this is the medical term, uh, it is sometimes related to the decreasing testosterone. If female have estrogen and progesterone, male, mga kalalakihan, they have testosterone. Okay? And... Uh, male menopause or andropause, it is related to aging. So, pag tumatanda po, nag increase yung age natin sa mga kalalakihan, then ito po yung tinatawag nating uh, andropause or male menopause. Most doctors, uh, nire-refer po nila ito as andropause or minsan late onset hypogonadism or minsan naman, androgen deficiency, testosterone deficiency, but in short, it's a male menopause, okay? And at the age of 30 years old, pag nag-start na po ang kalalakihan na mag tumungtong ng age 30, yung pong testosterone level, yung hormone ng kalalakihan, bumababa po every year, 1% every year, hanggang po umabot siya ng 60, 70, 80, etc., etc. So, again, Andropause, or what we call male menopause, it is actually not recognized by WHO as part of uh, a disease, okay? Uh, Nire-refer po nila ito as hypogonadism. So bumaba, pa, bumaba po yung level of uh, hormone ng mga kalalakihan. It is a deficiency in which the testosterone level of men would go down or decrease uh, beyond normal. And it is associated with aging. Alam naman po natin that testosterone has so many influence sa katawan natin, particularly sa skin, okay? Then uh, sa liver synthesis, uh, hair growth, okay? And then uh, the male uh, genitalia, the brain uh, in terms of libido, in terms of aggression. So yun po yung uh, testosterone dyan. And then we also have... Uh, the effect of testosterone sa muscle. That's why there are some, yung mga malalaking katawan, nagkakaroon din ng increased uh, strength and volume sa muscle. And also involved in the kidney, erythropoietin production, bone marrow, and etc., etc. There are so many benefits of testosterone. And I, I believe that some of you, uh, siguro napansin nyo rin po yung mga... Uh, uh, LGBTQ na minsan uh, naglalagay din po ng uh, testosterone para po yung, yung male uh, characteristics lumabas uh, sa isang uh, uh, person, di ba? Okay, as I have mentioned, ito pong testosterone, it would decrease at start the age of 30 years old, 1 by 1%. So just imagine, uh, nung kabataan po natin, yung mga kalalakihan dyan at at the age of 12 years old, or at least be uh, 
below 30 years old, normal level of testosterone in normal condition. However, once we reach the 30 years old, dun na po start to go down ang testosterone level natin. What is the most important? Ano ba ang most important dito sa testosterone na ito? Okay? Particularly sa signs, ano po ang kailangan babantayan o titignan ninyo kay mga kababaihan na nanonood ngayon o mga kalalakian na nanonood ngayon, ano po ang mga signs and symptoms, particularly of men having male menopause or andropause. Okay? So tignan natin. Una, pag umabot na po ng 40 years old. So 40 years old, mag-start na po siyang uh, medyo mababa. Okay? Number one, First sign or symptoms na mapapansin nyo dyan ay ang tinatawag na diminished sex drive. So bumababa na yung libido or sex drive ng mga kalalakihan. Pangalawa, yung pong muscle, reduced muscle bulk. So dati po malalaki ang muscle, ngayon medyo lumiliit na ang mga muscles. Okay? And particularly strength. So yung pong mga kalalakihan, hindi na ganun sila kalakas ng kabataan nila pag tumuntong na sila at the 40 years old and above. Nakaka-experience din po sila ng night sweats. Kung ang mga kababaihan nagkakaroon ng night sweats, ganun din po ang mga kalalakihan. And also, uh, they would have experienced fewer spontaneous erections, uh, also poor concentration, uh, sleep problem. Kung ang mga kababaihan nagkakaroon din ng uh, insomnia, meron din po sa mga kalalakihan. Loss of body hair, nagsisimula na po na nawawala yung hair niya, yung skin hair niya, and minsan pati po yung sa, sa scalp o okay, yung hair. Then patient may also have palpitations o so, mga kalalakihan. Pag tumungtong ng 40 years old, papunta na rin dyan. And then height loss, okay, fatigue, irritability. Kung may irritability si, si babae, meron din pong irritability ang mga kalalakihan. Memory loss. Increase body fat. So nagsisimula na po na medyo lumalaki ang mga kalalakihan dito. Reduce self-confidence, okay? infertility, depression. Minsan they would have swollen breast or sometimes they would have anemia. And other conditions, other patients may have shrunken yung kanilang testicle. This is based on the study. So ito po yung mga signs and symptoms usually na nakikita sa mga male na papunta po dyan sa tinatawag na andropause or male menopause. Okay, what are the causes? Ano po ba ang mga causes ng uh, andropause or male menopause? First, if you're taking too much medications, that's based on research, then poor diet, and then excessive alcohol consumption, o may, meron ka nagkaroon ka ng illness ng kabataan mo, then lack of sleep, then uh, the lack of uh, sexual drive, uh, and then stress or some surgery. So ito po yung usual uh, binabanggit sa literature, binabanggit sa research, ang mga possible causes ng male menopause. However, very vague. Hindi po rin nila ma-determine which among these factors are yung pong specific mismo bakit nagkakaroon ng male menopause. And take note, medyo mahaba pong years yan. Kung kababaihan, usually beyond 5 years, ang kanilang um, menopause, dito po sa mga kalalakihan, from 10 years to 25 years. So, ganun po siya kahaba. Medyo mahaba po ang... Uh, but there are some cases, sasabihin din ng ibang literature, na from 15 years to 20 years. So, medyo mahaba. Just imagine, from 40 years old, pwede pong umabot ng 50, 60, or even 70 years old. So, ganun po kahaba ang mga uh, symptoms na nararamdaman ng pasyente experiencing with male menopause. And yung pong symptoms, uh, they are not as severe as compared to female menopause or mga menopause na mga kababaihan. Okay? And sometimes, when we see patients sa hospital, they are too shy or intimidated when they ask their, they don't want actually to ask their doctors about this condition. Kasi minsan nahihiya po sila na pag-uusapan, nag undergo sila ng uh, problem na ito. Okay? And what are the most common treatment? Okay? What are the most common? Natatawa po ako kasi may mga questions po tayo dito. I will answer the questions later. Uh, what are the common um 
uh, treatment. Okay? Usually, symptomatic ang treatment dyan. Okay? Ibig sabihin, very specific tayo kung ano ang nararamdaman ng pasyente, doon po tayo magbibase. Kung nakakaramdam po siya ng, for example, na hindi pagkatulog, hindi natutulog, so we give medications para po sa pagtulog niya. Sleep problems. Kung meron po siyang palpitation, we give medications for palpitation, etc., etc. But we advise our patient, our male patient, to have a lifestyle change. Okay? Choice po ninyo yung lifestyle ninyo, kung ano mga uh, ginagawa ninyo mga activities. So, ito po yung mga recommendations ng mga expert. Okay? Non-medical usually ang treatment because I'll explain later why mostly non-medical. Okay? First, you need to eat healthy, healthy diet. So, before you reach 40 years old, uh, start building na to eat healthy, good meal, healthy diet, fruits and vegetables para po pag Akyat nyo ng 40 years old mga kalalakihan, hindi nyo na po ganong nararamdaman yung mga nararamdaman ng ibang tao na uh, papunta dyan sa uh, male menopause na yan. Next one, I advise uh, our male patient that or male viewers na nandito that you need to get a uh, regular exercise, get more exercise as much as possible, get enough sleep, and reduce your stress. Ito pong apat na bagay na ito, it could help you para po yung mga signs and symptoms hindi nyo po gaano maramdaman at hindi maging severe ang effect sa inyo na male menopause or andropause. It's, it's easy. First one, eat healthy meal, healthy diet, regular exercise, reduce stress, and get enough sleep. Ito pong apat na ito, tandaan nyo. And then, it depends din po sa habit ninyo, lifestyle ninyo. However, you may consult doctors because one of the symptoms of menopause is depression. Okay? You need to consult your depression. They may prescribe you some uh, antidepressant uh, medications. However, there are some patient na gusto mag, uh, mag um, undergo ng hormonal replacement therapy. So meaning you give testosterone to patient. However, this option, it's very controversial based on research that uh, kagaya din po siya ng mga life, uh, like the performance uh, enhancing uh, steroids, okay? Para po maging uh, yung muscle, maging uh, more masculine. However, these are synthetic. Ibig sabihin po, galing sa labas, ipapilalagay sa atin, and it may have uh, side effects, particularly po yung mga pasyenteng nag-take ng anabolic steroids, okay? And it's very important po dun sa mga pasyenteng natin na nag-undergo ng menopause, again, is to have a lifestyle uh, modification. Uh, start nyo na po yung lifestyle modification nyo because there's no specific treatment para po mapigilan or maiwasan ang male menopause. Similar with the menopause that we have discussed previously. So, Yun lang, ganun kasimple ang topic natin about male, male menopause. So paano po ito? Okay, it would uh, once you reach the age of 30 years old, your testosterone, in summary, your your testosterone level would start to decline 1% per year. At the age of 40 years old, a uh, male uh, patient would start to experience the signs and symptoms that I have mentioned. Diminished sex drive, um, reduced muscle bulk, feeling of stress, etc., etc. And then, what are the usual causes? So I mentioned the usual causes of medication, uh, lack of sleep, and sometimes because of your lifestyle. Um, lifestyle okay? And then, uh, to excessive alcohol consumption. Uh, and usually, um, male menopause would be within 15 years to 20 years. So medyo mahaba po. And I would advise to you, in terms of the treatment or lifestyle uh, modification is to eat healthy, regular exercise, enough sleep, and uh, good food, and uh, reduce your stre stress uh, uh, as much as possible. And if you have other problems, particularly depression, uh, and uh, you feel lonely, you need to visit a physician. Your doctor would be probably prescribing you antidepressant so that, that it could help you. Okay, so again, marami pong salamat. If you have questions, feel free. Oh, to, may mga questions tayo. Let's, let's try to answer some of your questions. So marami pong salamat. Ito, may mga questions tayo. So that mean, Doc, yung testosterone ko, sabi niya, nababawasan ng, not 15%, it's 1% 
every year. So yung sa kanya dahil 45 years old na siya, 15% na daw ang nabawasan sa kanya. Okay? Technically, yes, 1% per year ang nababawasan. Okay? And uh, may question din tayo dito na so sabi niya, hindi pa daw siya lalaki siya. Huwag na lang natin bagitin ang pangalan niya. Sabi niya, hindi pa daw siya menopause kasi 45 years old siya. Okay? So, in denial. May mga pasyente minsan in denial na minsan hindi nila uh, sinasabi sa sarili niya na nag undergo sila. Not necessarily na lahat ng symptoms o may mga symptoms kang nararamdaman. Once you turn this age, uh, specific age, 40 years old and above, you start to develop. Uh, yung signs and symptoms. Some people may experience the signs and symptoms very severe. Yung iba naman po, hindi naman po ganun ka-severe. Okay? And uh, ito, question, uh, pag po ba de-circumcise, possible pong magkaroon ng and andropos? Not, 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 because circums circumcision is a process where uh, may surgical po dyan na ginagawa. Slit incision doon sa um, uh, skin uh, ng genitalia ng lalaki, uh, yun po. Wala po siyang kinalaman sa testosterone level yon Okay? Ang testosterone po, hormone ng mga kalalakihan na bumababa. Okay? Uh, once nag-start sila ng 30 years old and above. So, wala pong kinalaman ang circumcision doon. Uh, ano pa ba mga question dito? Sabi ng isa, uh, Dok, kung menopause na po ba ang lalaki, hindi na makakapag-produce ng junior. Okay? Uh, pag menopause na ang lalaki, ibig sabihin mababa na ang testosterone count niya. Okay? Maaring nagpo-produce pa siya, pero maliit na ang chance na magkaroon ng uh, baby. If, if uh, that's the question na inaano natin dito because uh, men should have an adequate number or sperm cell para po ma-fertilize niya ang egg cell so and also if nagkakaroon pa because one of the symptoms of a uh, male menopause is one is diminished sex drive bababa po yung libido niya and the possible of uh, problem sa kanyang erection so ayun po and then, uh, wait, nasan po ba yung isang question na nakiligtag? Pag po ba nagmenopause na ang lalaki, pwede po ba siyang, mag, pwede po ba silang magkababy ng anak? O nasagot na natin. Kasi po, babae, pag menopause, hindi na. Ang lalaki, it depends sa sperm count niya. Okay? Ngayon, kasi ang lalaki, hindi naman titigil. Okay? It would not stop. Okay? Mababa lang ang count. Okay? Na maaring hindi adequate yon para ma-fertilize niya yung egg cell ng babae, para po mabuo yun, mag-form ng saigot, and eventually mag maging baby siya. So, ayun po yung explanation doon. So, kahit po 80 years old, for as long as nagkakaroon po siya ng erection, normal ha, and then if uh, meron pa po siyang adequate uh, sperm count, or sperm, sperm cell, then he could still, okay, uh, possible na magkaroon pa po siya ng anak. Kung may partner siya o may asawa siya. Unless otherwise, there are so many technologies nowadays, nowadays na pwede pong i-freeze ang uh, sperm cell or the egg cell and then eventually, i i ano, so pwede po yun. And, oh yan, may mga kalalakihan po tayong nanonood. Marami pong salamat sa mga tanong nyo. Okay? Life begins at 40, sabi nga uh, ng isang ating uh, uh, nanonood ngayong gabi. Paano po malalaman ng babae na andropos na ang estado ng junior ni partner niya? Cannot understand the question. Tama po ba pagkaintindi ko? Paano po malalaman ng babae na andropos na ang estado ng mister niya? Tama po ba? Okay. Or estado ng junior ni partner niya? Uh, pakilinaw po ang question. Hindi ko po gaano maintindihan yung question. Para po masagot natin. Ah, maari ito po siguro. Ang ibig niyang sabihin, baka po ang kanyang junior ay, or ang kanyang ano, hindi na nagkakaroon ng uh, erection ang kanyang asawa. Definitely, if the age, as I have mentioned, if the age of the patient is 
40 years old and above, and then patient may have diminished sex drive or sometimes uh, inability to have erection. So therefore, it might be uh, a problem uh, or an issue related to male andropause. Yan rin po ba ang reason kung bakit nagkakaroon ng prostate cancer ang isang lalaki? Okay, we will discuss prostate cancer on in a separate discussion. I would be inviting um, uh, a surgeon and uh, a nurse uh, eventually soon sa ating discussion. So I won't touch first the prostate cancer because uh, it's a similarly related but much better if we discuss it in a separate uh, topic, separate day. Okay? So, oh, ayun po. So, marami pong salamat. If wala ng questions, marami pong salamat sa lahat ng nanood ngayong gabi. I hope that I was able to give you some of uh, uh, information about male menopause or andropause. In the next coming week, this Wednesday, uh, we will talk about cancer. And I have invited an American nurse to be my guest. And uh, let's see, let's have a discussion. And on the following week, we will be having a discussion about urology and surgery. So, yan po yung mga discussion natin sa mga susunod. Abangan nyo po ang mga susunod nating mga lectures. Again, this is Dr. Mike. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. And have a great night. Salamat! <laughs>